Check out footcointraders.com for all of your ultimate team coins and be sure to use the code CHEZ at checkout to get yourself an extra discount. Hey guys, how's it going? Chez back again with episode number 11 of the My Player series here on Xbox One. Now in the last one I asked you, should I be allowed to use some attribute boosts for achieving the uh, the bulk objectives that we have for uh, for set periods of four games at a time? And uh, you guys were quite resounding in your response in the comments. You said, yes, I should be able to do that. So what I'm going to do, considering we, uh, we completed the objective for scoring the amount of goals that they wanted and for the percentage or the goal to, uh, the shot to goal ratio rather, the percentage ratio, going to improve ball, school, ball skills rather for uh, for considering the uh, the shot accuracy one and then for actually scoring the goals, is there a shooting one? There's the earliest shooting one, we're going to apply, I can't confirm purchase, purchase this item for a threat, okay, well let's do the next shooting one then shall we? Um, where are you? Physical shooting boost. Confirm purchase. There we go. So uh, that's our pro improved a little bit in uh, in stats. Let's have a look and see if that's affected his overall rating. We'll jump in. Uh, it's what we were 71. We are still 71, so it hasn't really changed our overall rating. But we've got a couple of games today. Preston in the league, one of our title rivals. And we have a cup quarter final in the Johnson's Paint Trophy as well. So let's jump into the action. Hopefully we can continue our good run in league form. Unfortunately, it's raining again. But as you can see, we're one point behind Preston in third. So this is a massive, massive top of the table class. We're also being started up top alongside Jefferson as opposed to Billy Painter, which is... Disappointing, to, uh, to say the least, but Jefferson did manage to pick up a goal in the last episode, so perhaps he uh, he may be improving as, uh, as a professional as well as ourselves, so uh, maybe he can put in a performance again. We'll have to wait and see. It's a lovely ball over the top to me. Could be in here if I can hold the defender off. I can. I'm going to try and stand it up. Handball riff! Oh, surely that's handball! I am absolutely adamant that that struck his hand. We'll have a look at that again. Hide that. Zoom in. Hit his arm. Oh, you can't get a clearer handball decision than that. That is a penalty ref. You've had an absolute Western Super Mare there. It's a good ball. Can we play this in behind? Another lob through ball. Now, this time, can we get a cross in and actually connect with the target rather than getting a dodgy handball decision? It's a good whip. Jefferson's up and he can't quite get his head to it. Oh, big Jeff, you're letting me down again. That's a lovely ball. And he's brought it down. McGinn! Oh, it's 1-0 Sheffield United. What a move. I almost didn't think that was going to come to anything, so I wasn't commentating to start off with. We just sprayed the ball out wide to uh, to the right back, and he has whipped a delicious ball into the... Oh, it's a lovely whip. Can we bring it down? We can. Can we shoot? <gasps> Great save. That was kind of a snatched effort more than anything. We've won it back. Can I get it back again? We can. That actually wasn't as bad a first half as I was expecting it to be. We've taken a 1-0 lead. Not really had too many chances, but I, uh, I'm not really too good in the rain, but we're playing quite nice football here, actually. Been on top against Preston. I'll have a quick look and see what the match stats are. They might have had a little bit extra possession. They have just, but we've had more chances. So uh, hopefully we can continue that in the second half. Maybe pick ourselves up a goal as well. Oh, what a challenge. Oh, ref, have a word. It was a great tackle. Am I getting booked for that? There's a phenomenal challenge. You cannot tell me I'm getting booked for that. As we bring Jose Backstrom for McGinn, the goal scorer. Have I actually, have I actually been booked for that? Come on, game, stop glitching out on me. No, I haven't. Thankfully, I was going to say, bloody hell, it was bad enough that the ref gave a foul, let alone booking me for it. Go on, Jeff, play me over the top. No. Billy Payton is coming on for Big Jeff. So uh, maybe we could be a little bit more potent up top, perhaps. I have to wait and see if Billy can make the difference. Gets that second goal and seal all three points. Davies picks the ball up the edge. Uh, we've got a foot in. Nobody's fallen to kill Kenny. Great last-ditch tackle from the defender. That was absolutely game-saving. That was phenomenal defending. After giving it away to come back and get that, we could win this flick on as well. Did I chest that? So there we go, a victory. There wasn't really too much happened in the second half. We brought Billy Painter on, but he wasn't really able to have too much of an impact. It was 
really Preston just attacking constantly for 45 minutes. But fortunately, we're able to come out with the three points and uh, a half decent match rating, 6.8. I think we were right. There we go. Balance has gone up one as well, so uh, we're making progress. I didn't have a single shot all game. That kind of sums up uh, our overall performance. But still, we did enough to get all three points against big title rivals. So we've got Scunthorpe next in the Johnson's Paint Trophy area quarter final. So maybe we can progress further through in the uh, in the cup competition and have a chance of getting some silverware potentially. So let's jump into that next game then. It's actually raining again unfortunately and also rather unfortunately we're being started up top alongside Big Jeff yet again. Billy clearly isn't putting the work in in training and the manager doesn't seem fit to uh, to trust him with a first team spot right now. But hopefully we can come out of this with a win and uh, progress through to the area semi-finals. It's not managed to get it around the corner, but we've picked it up again. I'm going to give that a whack. Oh, it's a decent effort on the follow-up. Jersey Baxter. Oh, he can't quite squeeze it in that near post. Perhaps I should have called for the cutback rather than telling him to shoot. Got a little bit overexcited. Can we do anything from here? I'm not too sure why I'm all the way at the back post. Called for it in the middle. On oh, the volley. Oh, so close to taking the lead again. We keep having chance after chance in this first half and we can't quite seem to get through that defensive line in, uh, in any real definitive manner. Into the second half we go then. We had quite a few opportunities in that first half. We had six in total, two of which were on target. I'm not too sure how many of them I would have shown you because they weren't really clear-cut opportunities. They're more just kind of snapped chances, snapped efforts. They weren't really of that good a quality on goal, but we could be in here if Jefferson can bring that down. It's Jose Baxter! Oh, he is the outside of the post. How has he managed to do that from that range? That's such a good ball in. Great first touch on his weak foot. He's volleyed it and it hits the base of the post and goes wide. That was a clear-cut opportunity. Rayford. Always oh, gone for that searching through ball that we used last time. Oh, that was a lovely ball. That, that was the ball that got us the goal in the first game. Unfortunately, I'm not able to finish it as well as McGinn did. We caught it beautifully on the volley. Just curling away from goal rather than inside that post. That's really frustrating. That's a, another key, another key chance to taking the lead here. Piling the pressure on though, hoping they'll make a mistake. We have forced defences into mistakes before they've made one. Ooh, we've cut inside. Can we finish? Oh, post finish! Yes. We do make the breakthrough with five minutes to go. If you remember the last Johnson's Paint Trophy game, we scored very, very late on against Shrewsbury to win the game 1-0. We've done exactly the same here at home against northern rival Scunthorpe. I'm disappointed not to get the uh, the goal ourselves there. I'm not too sure whether that will go down as an assist or not. I don't think it will. But still, that is fantastic to take the lead it looks like we're going to be pushing forward into the area semi-finals of the Johnson's pa Johnson's paint trophy go on can we go in it again and we are through to the next round of the Johnson's paint trophy a 1-0 win just like we did in the previous round a 1-0 win takes us through to the area semi-finals we're just three games away from a win, a cup win. You've got the area semi-final, the area final, and then the overall national final. Of course, the the Johnson's Paint Trophy split into north and south uh, areas before you meet uh, you know, the winner of each area at the final, which is at Wembley, I think. So uh, very, very pleased to push through into the area semi-finals. Only a 5.9 rating. We didn't do the best personally, but we were involved with the goal, even though it didn't give us the assist from the shot that came back off the post. But Scunthorpe weren't able to have a single shot on goal at all. That just shows you how dominant we were and how much we deserved to get that win to go through to the next round. So we've actually improved up to uh, up to 72 overall now. So we've had a game rescheduled, you presume, that that's because of cup uh, competitions. Let's have a look at the squad report and see how our pro is progressing then. If we've gone up a rating, we may be looking half decent. Eight goals in 17 appearances so far this season. 6.5 average rating. That extra little boost as well has helped us. We're now 72 overall with the shooting boost and the ball skills boost that we used at the beginning of the episode. And now, of course, performing quite well in those two previous games 
we are doing very, very nicely indeed. Up to 72 overall and £1.9 million valued at now at 19 years of age. We're progressing very, very nicely. Who knows where we'll be at the end of this season, but this is the end of the episode. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Please do feel free to leave the video a like if you could be so kind. That'd be absolutely fantastic. Of course, there was a AC Milan career mode video uploaded earlier on today. So if you missed that, feel free to check the channel page for it. I know that you'll be probably be watching this after the uh, the Manchester derby so well, I don't blame you for that by the way so uh, that's completely fine but uh, we'll have more AC Milan career mode tomorrow as well if you want to subscribe to the channel then feel free to do so so you don't miss out on any of the content on Chesnoy Gaming we've got this player career mode we've got the AC Milan career mode as well both going down very very well indeed so that's all for today guys thank you very much for watching and I will see you tomorrow